What is going on, guys? This is Ben here. So we have this lovely package from Supercell here. So a lot of you might know what this is. It is November. I've talked about this before. It has to do a little bit with, such with an H, with heroes. So today we are going to be opening up this package here. I'll give you guys my thoughts on it, how it looks, and also my thoughts on what when I can expect to maybe see these guys or this guy in the game of Clash Royale. So. Without further ado, I don't want to show the address, hold on. Let's open this up here. Good package, you might see him a little bit. Oh my gosh, let's get this bad boy out. And this is him, the Gold Barbarian. So, this has now been released. So the packaging on this looks really cool. You see how it's got like the gold line around it. Barbarian King statue, all gold. This is a very different look than our friend, the P.E.K.K.A. Gold up here. I think they made a thousand of these, whereas the P.E.K.K.A. they made 500. So there is that. So we're gonna open this up here. And the reason why I think this is significant, guys, everyone knows a Clash, of Cl a Clash Royale update is around the corner. <coughs> Let me just get that open there. One last look. One last look at the box before it gets out of frame. All right, so this is what we get here. We have broken the styrofoam. It feels, it smells like when you're like opening up a TV. So here, we'll do the reveal for you guys first. It's really, really bright on the cameras because it's white, but there we go. We get him opened. You see the bad boy? He's not even holding a sword. You have to, we have to put the sword in. Is that, oh, sword fell low. Okay, well, look at this. You see this? We get to put his sword on, I guess. So it's kind of interesting. The sword, just chilling. Chilling right here. <laughs> and this is the main man, the man of the hour. The man with no sword. So maybe they did that for packaging purposes. But this definitely feels a lot different. Here, I'll hold it like, like this. It definitely feels a lot different than the then our other friend, the P.E.K.K.A. So, it's like a different gold look to it. So this one's more rustic. I'll try and get it up close to the camera. The rust color on there, on the back and everything around it. I guess I'll put his sword on now. He looks kind of weird with... Oh! Oh my gosh! That is crazy! So, look at this. It's magnetic. It's magnetic, dude. He's got a magnetic sword so it moves. Oh my gosh. So, Barbarian with the sword. Let's see how it looks back here. See him see him chilling in the back with the sword, but now like look at the Pekka. Doesn't really have that that rustic look to it. It's just straight gold. So it feels like they're they're made a little bit different. At least get to see it a little bit. I don't even know if that even shows it. There, that's the best way I can show it. See how like the barbarian is a little bit darker? And the P.E.K.K.A is a little bit more gold. So they are very similar in size. Basically weigh the same. Actually, the P.E.K.K.A weighs more. P.E.K.K.A is a little bit hefty. The heftier machines. And this is our lovely Barbarian. So, which side do you think you should go on? Do we gotta, do we gotta get rid of the, our other P.E.K.K.A? I don't know if that's too much weight there. But we got the other gold statue, the golden barbarian. And now why that is significant is because when you purchase that barbarian, it also says Clash Royale on there. And you guys know there's been a lot of hero leaks, namely the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen. And it's November, they, that was the release date. Like I, I pre-ordered that months ago and it finally just got delivered. This was the, the release date of it in November. As you guys know, we are due for a Clash Royale update. So yeah, I think the last update was in the beginning of September, so that's a long time. And I remember them specifically saying like, heroes are a lot of work, where they were currently working on them, like well, that was a while ago now, I don't even remember the exact date, but they were working on what they were complex and they, didn't, they weren't sure how they wanted to go about it yet. So if they had this much time, like three months, almost three months to go over it and plan it and probably perfect it, I feel like we're gonna get something big this update. 
I, I really do. It's been a long period since we haven't got like new content to it. The last update was kind of just trade tokens and uh, a card. That was kind of mainly it. So I feel like this next update is going to have some big features and I think Heroes is going to be one of them. I, I firmly believe Heroes will be coming in this next update and it pairs well with the release date of the Barbarian King. That's what I think. And so I think we're going to get an update soon. Heroes are going to be coming because why else would you pick this specific date for this same update cycle with Clash Royale for a hero and for a thing that's been getting leaked, has been shown in game files and whatnot. So I think heroes are going to be coming soon. That just kind of exemplifies it and I am I could not be more excited. So yeah, hopping on the game now, but I don't know if you guys saw earlier, I might have cut it out, but I almost dropped this iPad because it was sitting off to the side because I was keeping the recording going. But yeah, we have our war attack here. And uh, we don't really have that great of war cards, honestly. We we don't really have too many win conditions, like a peck of gold and whatever. So we're going to have to go with, like, giant beat down here with some... We don't even have, like, a poison or a fireball. That is really unfortunate. So, going to have to go with the zap and the log and see how this goes. But, I don't know, man. I'm just hyped. I think it makes perfect sense to announce and have released of the... Or basically release these heroes around a Clash Royale update time when heroes have been a lot of the talk, have been shown that they're currently being worked on and everything. So let me know your thoughts on that. Do you firmly believe that heroes will be coming? I do. And I said that a couple months ago when they were first getting like leaked and stuff and we have so many like footage that shows them that what looks to be almost finished stuff in the files of the game, which is based on people data mine stuff. If you guys remember when I covered Pokemon Go, like data mines were huge, it showed files and it was a very good indication of what will be coming later on in the game. So it's like, it's really good spoilers basically. Uh, other than that though, let me know your thoughts on that. What other things would you like to see in this next upcoming update around here soon? I'd love to see more game modes, like Triple Elixir is awesome, Ramp Up Challenge, Rage and all those is awesome. I'd love to see some like out of the box ideas. like. I don't know. Like, I love Touchdown how for what it is. I love how it's like a different style of gameplay that's different from the current, just like take towers, whatever, and varying elixir and troops and whatnot. I would love like a different style of game mode where like, there was a while ago there was something leaked where it was like walls. Ooh. Ooh. We'll put the pressure on here. He missed that lightning. But yeah, there was like walls in the on the ground there and it, like it was like the, the maze game mode or something like that you guys remember that i believe that might have gotten canned or just never came through with the final design and outline of it but like just something like that's out of the box just not towers and everything else like that so hopefully game modes heroes obviously new cards and whatnot those th that's like mainly my update wishes that's all i really want tournament rework would be cool maybe like event tickets like you know like grand challenge tickets that we could get kind of going off like brawl stars how they have the tickets for their weekend events so like say maybe you can unlock a, a one out of the chest or even like chests that have token or uh emotes like token trade token chest or emote chest would be cool i think a lot of people will be really really in favor of having those and i would too let's open up some chests because not everyone can just spend like four three or four dollars or twenty dollars whenever they come out right away on the new emotes, so something like that would be really cool. And I'm not sure why this guy isn't dropping down the golem here. Kill the hunter, take care of the mega minion. And we're gonna get him here. So three crown right at the start. It's gonna be a shorter video. If you guys did not know, if you haven't seen me on Twitter or whatever, I'm posting a lot of stuff on the Twitter. Uh, I'm, a, I'm going to be on vacation in LA, gonna be going to like Santa Monica, Catalina Island, gonna be going to a Laker game. So I haven't taken a vacation in a long time and that like, Obviously, California is one of my favorite places to go with Carla. So uh, that's where we're headed during the weekend. So I just wanted to record a bunch of videos. If you notice that I'm wearing the Milwaukee Brewer shirt and a lot of videos. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the next update. Let me know what you think about the Barbarian King. You think heroes are coming. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys later.